you think that President Obama is the same as President Absolutely Trump? not. That is silly to even think and equate the two. One is human, the other is... Is it true that you just... Ilhan Omar says Trump isn't human. What is wrong with you? It's a bug. She says Israel is hypnotizing the world and that Jews are paying off politicians. It's risk, Jerry. The game of world conquest. Democrats are happy to condemn other forms of bigotry, but why not this one? I'm Anders Hagstrom, and these are the facts. Ilhan Omar refuses to apologize, but what would happen if a Republican did the same thing? The more you drink, the more this will make sense. Well, fortunately, we have an example. Representative Steve King. When King made white supremacist comments, Republicans removed him from every House committee and told him to resign. Go! Yet Omar still sits on her committees where she's allowed to do things like this. That is a ridiculous question. and I Yes would not or no? No. I I will, Sorry, Mr. I will take that as a yes. I am not going to respond to that kind of personal attack which is not a question. And her colleagues like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Rashida Tlaib have expressed support for her rather than calling on her to resign. Apparently condemning her anti-Semitism is itself Islamophobic. But this gets at a bigger issue. Democrats are fine with implying that Christians can't be trusted as judges. The dogma lives loudly within you. Cory Booker did it, Kamala Harris and Maisie Hirono did it, and Dianne Feinstein. But they're outraged when Janine Perot says the same thing about Muslims. It seems that Democrats aren't actually that interested in getting rid of bigotry. He has been even more bitter about America's Jews. They're interested in getting rid of Republicans. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and share this video if you liked it and you want to share it. And also be sure to like our page here at the DCNF Presents the Facts and our friends over at American Voices in the Daily Caller. And if you're watching on Facebook, you can like my page in the description. And rather than a normal comment section, here are some clips from a video I was in last week. American ISIS Bride's first television interview. It was an ideology that really was just a phase. I went through a punk rock phase. I went through a Lord of the Rings phase. But I never went through an ISIS phase. Young girls have many phases. She's making Britney Spears, I'm gonna shave my head phase, look pretty normal. So who the Madonna blah, 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 left the United States when she was 19 to go to Syria to join ISIS. And now she wants to come back because ISIS lost and she's like, well, all right, time to go home, I guess, right? You know the story of the boy that cried wolf? She's the girl who cried Allahu Akbar. <laughs> There's one tweet in particular where you talk about calling on Americans to do drive-by shootings, to rent a truck and drive over people, spilling their blood, and you say, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, go out and do it. Again, my lawyer told me not to speak about these things. If your lawyer says not to talk about these things, you're guilty. Maybe she needs a publicist instead of a lawyer. Wow, what a piece of shit.